Hey y'all, it's Tamarin and I am back with this bomb fall ombre eye glam. So just stay tuned and watch how I achieve this fiery, sexy look. So of course I'm already moisturized. I did my brows off camera um, because I really want to focus on the eye look. So I'm just cleaning up my brows with my soft ochre MAC paint pot. And this is going to also serve as my lid primer for my eyeshadow base. My favorite eyeshadow base is just because it doesn't crease my shadows, it keeps it nice and matte, um, but my shimmers still show up really, really pigmented with this base. I promise y'all I'm going to find another eyeshadow palette to do a tutorial on, but for right now I'm obsessed with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I can't help it. It's got all the colors that I need. So I'm just going in with a great neutral base color just to give my lid um, a little bit of color and hide all of my veins because I'm so pale. Then I'm going to take another deeper neutral shade and put it in my crease just to add a little bit of depth. And this is going to be my transition color. See, I'm kind of packing it on there in small strokes versus brushing it because I really want the pigment to stay and then I'm gonna go in with a little orangey deeper color shade and just kind of buff that out in my crease really important to go in small circular motions when you're blending out your eyeshadow just to make sure you don't have any harsh lines and you really get that flawless blend that you're going for and by the way I have on lash extensions um, so I won't be demonstrating how to put on lashes with this look, but these lashes kind of are similar to like an Ardell Double Up Wispy or a Vegas Nay number 126. Um, so that will kind of give you the same look that I have with these lashes. Using the same brush, I kind of went in with a deeper burgundy shade and I'm just packing that color in and then blending it out again with the same small circular motion. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I added a little bit of the color Central Park. It's like a really dark plum burgundy type of color. I really wanted to use this to add depth in my crease and kind of give it that smoked out look because I'm going to go from dark to light as I go from my outer corner to my inner corner. Sometimes I like to take a big fluffy brush that has no color on it whatsoever and just use it to buff out some of um, the color that's already there and just kind of blend it out a little bit more and make it more soft versus, um, you know, you kind of seeing exactly where the, the shadow stops. Going back in with a little bit more of that Central Park shade and just blending it out as much as you possibly can. This is literally all about blending so just blend 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 until you can't blend no more until you get the color that you really really want now I'm taking a flat brush and it's kind of damp and I'm going in with the shade firework and when I tell y'all this camera does this shade no justice it is so pigmented and it just really really looks like fire I love it I really want this shade to pop. I'm packing it on. I'm not swiping or blending it in. I'm just slowly packing it on as I go and it's just building on top of each layer. Now with that same brush, I just flipped it over to the other side. I'm going in with my NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in the shade Synthetica. I think it's really meant to be a highlighter, but I use it as a shadow and it is bomb. Just keep packing it on there until I get the level of intensity that I'm looking for and then I'll go in with a fluffy brush and just blend that joker out. Now I'm going in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer which is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, and I'm taking a buffing brush from Morphe, I'm not sure the number, um, and just really buffing that into my skin. And then I'll take my Beauty Blender and blend it out just a little bit more to make it look as flawless as possible. 
I'm doing a little throwback Thursday going back to my LA girl concealer I haven't used this in like over a year and I forgot how much I loved it so I think I'm gonna start using it a little bit more often now but as you can see I'm just going in under my eye um, the tip of my nose and a little bit on my chin and above my lip and then of course I'll take my damp beauty blender and blend it out As I was doing my makeup I was like in shock about how much I forgot how well LA girl concealer blends especially with the Milani foundation like it's just so creamy it just blends perfect look at it it's flawless as you guys know after I do my under eye I'll tip my beauty blender to the back side and just make sure I'm blending that out so you can't really see where my under eye highlight stops On in with the Revolution Stick Foundation F13 and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm actually taking it straight from the stick and buffing it onto my face. Um, I really like this method versus drawing the foundation stick right onto my face. I think it looks more airbrushed and I just think it comes out better when I do it this way. Blending that out as much as I can, but I really want my cheekbones to pop, but also look really, really natural. So I'll take my beauty blender and kind of buff it out just a little bit so it's not too harsh. Foundation stick, I'm just going to take a little fluffy brush and contour my nose. I really like to do a light contour on my nose because my nose is already kind of pointy and big. So I don't want to call too much attention to it, but whatever floats your boat, do whatever you do. Um, I always take my contour up to the eyeshadow right up under my brow and then I'll blend it out with my blender to make it softer. I didn't set my face on camera. I think it had cut off on me, but I went in with my Laura Mercier translucent powders. So now I'm just brushing that off and then going in with my black opal powder foundation and packing in um, to my skin all the areas that I highlighted just to bring some color back to my face so I don't look like a ghost. Now I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy Morphe brush and smoke out my under eye. I've been doing this a lot lately with my eyeshadow looks and I really love it. I think it really makes a big difference with how your eyes pop. Um, but some people don't like it. I am starting to prefer it. So I'll just take um, that same burgundy color that I went in on my crease and just smoke out my under eye before I do my mascara and the rest of my face. Can you see how much drama that just added just by smoking out that under eye? Like, look at that. Look at the difference. Now that I'm pretty much done with the eye, I just still have to go in with my bronzer. And this is the MAC bronzer in Give Me Sun. And I'm just lightly, lightly putting it around the contour of my face. Now just add a little bit of blush from this BH Cosmetics blush palette. I really want it to be super light because my eyes are already doing a lot. Then I'll go in with another throwback. I haven't used my Anastasia Glow Kit in a while, but I mix a couple of the different shades and I'll just add it to my cheekbones and my nose. Now for the lips, I'm just going in with this NYX lip liner and I'll provide the color um, in the description box and just really overlining my lips to give it that nice pout before I go in with my matte lipstick in the shade Myth. And this is kind of like a creamy matte shade, um, another throwback that I have not used in a long time. Um, and then going on top of it with my Butter Lip Gloss and Fortune Cookie from NYX. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look. It just reminds me of fire. It reminds me of a spicy mommy hot tamale. But anyway, make sure to tag me at Tamarin Beauty when you recreate this look. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will check you guys later.